morning pizza. Okay, guys. <clears throat> what do you lot want? Jerry Forden. What's going on? RSPCA, Inspector Goodman. I've reason to believe you're holding a Staffordshire Bull Terrier which may be stolen and injured. Sergeant Ackman, Sunhill, I've got a warrant to enter and search the premises. Right, in you go. Morning! We haven't got a stolen dog! What do you want about? Where is it? Found him! He's my pet! You can't just take him! Is this the dog you're looking for? Yeah. Is this your dog? Yeah. Right, Mr Ford, I have reason to believe that this dog was stolen from James Tyler three months ago and has been involved in dog fights. Your other dogs will also be removed to a vet's for examination. I'm taking my dogs. Hey, hey, hey! Jerry Ford, I am arresting you on suspicion of possessing a stolen dog, of cruelty to that dog and of assault. You do not have no, to I'm sorry, anything, don't take the dogs. But it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something that you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Mrs Ford, I'm afraid that you're going to have to come down to the no, police station. That's got nothing station. to do with her. You leave her out of this. It's all down for me. So, what happens now? Well, as soon as we get the other dogs out of the house, we do a search for evidence. What evidence? Well, dog fighting videos, training gear, scales. I'm sure you know the score. Mrs Ford, I need you to stay with the police officers while they search the house. I don't know why. You heard him say it's got nothing to do with me. We need you to be present while we carry out the search. Look, the videos are in the dining room and all the training stuff's in the kitchen. Thank you, Mrs. Floyd. Just make it quick, yeah? Uh, have you got the report from the vet on the dogs? No, uh, we're still waiting, sir. I'm going to check the videos now. OK, June. Keep me informed. Right. right, how's it going? Well, we've been through the videos. Now, it's the usual stuff, but this one's a bit different. Yeah? Yeah. A dog fight in the Sun Hill area. The date puts it four weeks ago few familiar faces, but it's the end you'll be interested in. All right, let's see it then. Usual makeshift arena, old doors and boards. That's Ford's dog on the right one. Oh, poor dogs. Now see, the fight's over. Someone's holding Ford's dog up for the camera. This is it, Sarge. There. The two in black at the back. Wait, show it to me again. It's an assault, June. Do you know those men? No. <laughs> well, then, all we've got is three men having a fight at an illegal event. With no body, no report and no complaint, we've got no crime. But the evidence is in front of you. That's a report, surely. No, it's not as easy as that. Without knowing who those men are, we've got nothing to go on. What about Ford? He might know. All right. Once we've got the vet's reports, you talk to Ford about the dog and the fights, and I'll ask him about the punch-up. The victim's face looks familiar, Sarge. I mean, Jimmy, you can hardly see him. All right, check the MISPER file and DRU. All units from Sierra Oscar, 44, that's 44 Cheatham Road. Disturbance. The informant is the occupant of Mrs Sandy Ford. Sierra Oscar from Sierra Oscar 21. Yeah, go ahead, Polly. Sarge, we're close by. Show us ceiling. Received. Thanks, Polly. Come on, don't fall. Will you open this door? This is the house the RSPCA turned over. Well, at least the dogs are gone. I want my dog fall! All right, sir. All Thanks. right, sir. Take it easy. Take it easy. You are? Jimmy Tyler. Right, Mr Tyler, what's this all about then? Jerry Ford's got my dog in there. Where is oh, he? I'll kill him. Oh, Mr Tyler, I... let any shouting or making threats and I'll have to arrest you. You what? Listen, we've got Jerry Ford in custody at Sun Hill. The RSPCA came and took the dogs away earlier today. Now, I'm sorry, but you'll have to follow it up with them. Come on, come over here, come on. When are you going to let my husband go? Look, I'm afraid you're going to have to call Sun Hill about that. Well, keep that loony away from me. I've just about had it today. What sort of dog was it? A pedigree Staffordshire Bull Terrier. I got him in the States and had him flown over here. I put him into quarantine. Cost me a fortune. Well, couldn't you get one cheaper over here? Yeah. But I was in the States for a couple of years and I had him as a puppy. I couldn't bear to leave him over there. Look, come on, Mr Tyler, on your way, eh? All right, I'm going. But I'm not going to let this rest. So you still maintain that you don't know a Jimmy Tyler and you didn't steal his dog? How many more times? I got the dog from a guy in a pub. All right, Jerry, how did the dog receive those injuries? Playing with the other two. 
He was the newcomer, wasn't he? They picked on him. He had to defend himself. But his wounds hadn't been treated. You know how much vets charge. I mean, 16 quid for just an injection. You let that dog suffer. He's all right. No, he isn't all right, Jerry. If his condition doesn't improve, he'll have to be put down. No. The vet said the wounds were consistent with having been in a sustained fight. I told you. He got those wounds scrapping with the others. I don't understand you, Jerry. You say your dogs are family pets. Of course they are. They're like part of the family. And yet you leave their wounds untended. And then there's the videos of dog fights and the scales and the weights. It seems to me you're into dog fighting in a big way. No. The dogs are pets. I was tending his wounds. OK, I ain't no vet and I ain't made of money. OK, Jerry. What about the videos we found in your house? Well, I've got most of them with the new staffy. Oh, what, from the bloke in the pub? The videos show dogs fighting. Nah. What you don't understand is I'm interested in the American pit bull breed. Now, it's illegal to bring them into this country, so I'll watch the videos. OK, they show dog fights, which are illegal, but the programmes and videos ain't. And the scales and the harnesses? Exercise for the dogs. Oh, what about a walk across Candy Fields? Well, that as well. But the weight pulling helps to develop leg and shoulder muscles. Why would you want to do that if the dogs were just pets? Because they're strong dogs. They need that sort of exercise. I don't believe you. I think you train them for fights. Yeah? Will you prove it? <sighs> Look, I bought the first... Two staff is young to sell them on, but Sandy and the kids fell in love with them. They became like part of the family. And six weeks ago, I meet a bloke who offers me another staffie at a good price. That's it. I'm saying no more. Just all that time and effort. Yeah, I know, Peter. That's the way it goes. But if you can't prove that Ford stole the dog, at least you can get him for cruelty. And we can do him for possession and assault if you want to press charges. OK, if that's the best we can do. Sarge. Camilla? The man being beaten up in the video is Ben Agnew. Go on. I knew I'd seen his face before. I was on the desk three weeks ago when his wife reported him missing, which is a week after he was beaten up at the dogfight. And he's still missing? Looks that way, Sarge. Agnew's a gambler. He's disappeared before when he's had some heavy debts. So it was put down on the 584 as a non-inquiry misper. <laughs> Good work. Have you found him? I'm afraid not. We're, uh, we're just here to confirm some details. He he's dead, isn't he? No, Mrs Agnew. Could you tell us what he was wearing? Grey trousers, dark blue shirt and a green zip-up jacket. Look, I've told you all this before. And when did you last see Ben? About 3.15 on the Wednesday afternoon. Four weeks ago. He's disappeared before, hasn't he, and then turned up again? It's different this time. Why do you say it's different this time? What do you think's happened to Ben? Judy? Phone calls. He's called you? No. Before he left. Phone calls from whom? I don't know. Men. Shouting and swearing, wanting to know where he was. What, anything else? That was enough. He was out that door. I've not heard from him since. And, and you haven't even been looking. Judy, listen to me. If these men call you again, or if Ben tries to contact you, please get in touch with us right away, yes? Just find my Benny. Please. Where's the other one? Goodman. We don't need him, Jerry. This is a police matter. I thought dogs were RSPCA. Do you know Ben Agnew? Agnew? No, I don't know. <laughs> Your price is, Jerry. Yeah, I have my moments. We find you in possession of a stolen dog. The vet says it's been involved in a fight. You say no. And we find you have a videotape showing that same dog involved in an organised dog fight. Coincidence. Sides, I told you. I got that video when I bought that dog six weeks ago. Then you say you don't know Ben Agnew. But how long is this going on for? And yet, on that same tape, there is film of Agnew being beaten senseless. So you say. Now, are you going to tell us what's going on? I already told you. I got the video when I bought the dog. You can't make me responsible for what was on the tape before I got it. All right, let me get this straight. You got the video, when you got the dog, from the man in the pub, six weeks ago. You deaf or something? For the tape, yes, I got the video six weeks ago. Jerry, the video had a date on it. The fight took place four weeks ago. That was when Agnew was beaten up and he hasn't been seen since. So? <laughs> well, do I have to spell it out for you? If you got the tape six weeks ago, that stuff couldn't have been on it. You filmed that dog fight. I'm saying nothing. Jerry, you are in a lot of trouble already. Possessing a stolen dog, cruelty, dog fighting, assaulting Mr. Goodman. You are deaf, ain't you? 
Do you know who was after Ben Agnew? Do you know the two men who beat him up? Look, Jerry, Agnew has been missing now for four weeks. His wife is scared out of her mind. She thinks he's been murdered. The only link we have is you and your video. You can't prove any of it, can you, Sergeant Ackland? Come to see the waifs and strays, huh? How could anyone abandon them? Oh, it's easy. See poor old Sam in there? His owner left him in a lay-by and drove off. Six days the dog sat waiting for him to come back. Anyway, what can I do for you? Uh, according to his wife, Ben Agnew's still missing. We're getting nowhere with Ford. And how can I help? Well, I believe you've got a man undercover. Yeah, he's been undercover for about five months. Could you talk to him for me? It's difficult. I really need to find out what's happened to Agnew. The dog fight world is very secretive. It's very dangerous. I don't have a number, he contacts me. I'm sorry, Jim. 4 8 from Sierra Oscar. Yeah, go ahead, Bob. 4 4 Cheetham Road, reports of gunshots. Informant the occupant, Sandy Ford. You arrested her husband earlier. Right, shall I steal him? Thanks a lot, please. Hi, Jim. What happened? Oh, that's pretty tame, really. Uh -huh. According to the Ogden, the geezer in the car there just started chatting and fired in the door. Then threw the gun down, just went back to his car. Anyway, there's no injuries and we've made the gun safe. All right? All right, thanks very much. I want a word with you. That nut has been round here once already and two of your lot let him go. Then he comes back and does this. Now I suppose you'll let him go again. No, Mrs Ford, he'll be arrested and taken to Sunhill. Arrested? You want to lock him up and throw away the key? And we'll need to take a statement from you, Mrs Ford. Well, you can wait. And you can tell Jerry I've had it. I'm taking the kids back to my sisters. Your officer said go to the RSPCA. And they told me my dog will probably have to be destroyed and it's all down to Ford. Were you going to fight the dog? No. I've already told your officer he was a pet. Look, I've done everything by the book. I'm the victim here. You do realise, don't you, there were children in that house? I didn't want to hurt anybody. But I wasn't going to let Ford get away with it. He wasn't getting away with anything. We'd arrested him and you knew that. And what will he get, eh? A couple of fines and banned from keeping dogs. Won't give him any real grief, will it? Where did you get the gun? My old man's. He died last year. Licence? No. Right, Jimmy, that's it. Interview terminated at 18.55. Thank you, Jamila. You know, the way things are going, you're going to come out of this worse than Ford. You think I don't know that? Perhaps we could help each other. What? You mean you could help me with the gun and that? We can't overlook the fact that you fired a shotgun in the street and threatened to kill someone. But if you were to help us, it might go in your favour in court. What do you want? Tell me about Ford. Oh, come on. You want to give him real grief. Tell me what you know. He's into dog fights in a big way. Don't train his dogs properly, though. He's got no idea. Then he bets on them and moans when he loses. Does he owe a lot of money? Oh, yeah. He's been losing big time. Ben Agnew, does he do a lot of gambling? I wouldn't know. Who runs the gambling at the dog fights? I thought we were talking about Ford. Who runs the gambling, Jimmy? Danny Greaves. He took over about two years ago. He's got a couple of minders, Simpson and Archer, real thugs. They set up the fights and do all the heavy stuff for him. Describe him to me. Simpson's big, heavy bloke. Dark, curly hair. Archer's about six foot lean. Does Ford owe Greaves money? Oh, yeah. He owes plenty. 
and I hope they do him the thieving git. What, like they did Ben Agnew? I've said enough. Sarge? Yeah? According to PNC, up to about five years ago, Greaves had a steady list of pre-cons, mainly related to loan sharking. Brilliant. Anything on Sid? Well, that's Mr Danny Greaves. Right, known associates, Archer and... That's John Simpson. That fits Tyler's description and the video. And if Simpson works for Greaves and Agnew owed Greaves money, then that ties Greaves to the assault on Agnew. <sighs> yeah, but this Greaves is a nasty bit of work. We go to him with Tyler's story and his two minders on a video nasty. We're just going to scare him off. Sarge, we get a call from a Mrs Judy Agnew. She said her husband's at 59 Plassey Street. She's gone there. Very urgent, she said. Right, we're on our way. Say nothing. It was Danny Greaves' minders, wasn't it? Billy Archer, Rick Simpson. Benny, we could have found the money. All gone. It had to be me. Why, Benny? Why? They were going to break your legs. If we've got the video and Tyler's statement, why don't we pick up Simpson and Archer and try to get them to give up Greaves? Well, unless we get something concrete from Agnew, which seems a bit unlikely, then it's just Greaves' word against theirs, and they're the ones on the video. So how do we get to Greaves? Well, Greaves doesn't know about Ford's video yet, or what's on it. We found Agnew. He's in St Hugh's, Jerry. Severe head and chest injuries. Touch and go, they said. So, all we have to do is charge you with assaulting Mr Goodman and then you can go. What? We don't need to detain you any longer. But I want protection. Who from? Well, Tyler. He's a maniac. Really? You sure it's nothing to do with us finding Agnew? What's he got to do with anything? Well, you're both in the same boat, aren't you? You both owe money to Danny Greaves. Oh, you know how it is. Up one week, down the next. So how much do you owe, Jerry? How much? I'm into him for about five thousand plus interest. And that's why you want protection? Well, protection comes at a price. I ain't no grass. Oh, no, of course not, no. But you could help me to get Greaves, and then I could help you. Look, I tell you what. Let's get all this other stuff out of the way, eh? You filmed that video, didn't you? Yeah. And you stole Tyler's dog? Yeah. Well, Tyler said he'd had it imported as a pet, but I heard it had been trained to fight in the States, was a champion. Well, I was into Greaves for so much, I had to start winning. So how did you steal it? Waited till he'd gone out, kicked in the back door and took the dog. Easy, really. OK. Right, let's get back to Danny Greaves. Yeah, well, Danny Greaves, I ain't so sure, I mean. You tell me Agnew's in a bad way, then you expect me to give you the guy who'd done it. I take it you've seen Simpson and Archer. You don't have any options, Jerry. No. I'm still walking. I ain't breathing through a tube. All right. Interview terminated at 2010. You know, you're all right in here, Jerry, but uh, you'll soon be back out on the streets. You're not going to be able to pay off that debt. You know what happened to Agnew. So what are you saying? Although with Greaves and his crew out of the way, life would be a lot easier for you, wouldn't it? I mean, who knows? 
Sandy and the kids might even come back. Okay. What do you want me to do? Well, as long as you're sure we're not laying ourselves open to a charge of entrapment. No, it's all right, sir. Ford's been charged and bailed. He told Greaves what was on the video, and then he offered to trade it in for the money he owed. <sighs> Where's the handover? Uh, yeah, well, Greaves is no fool. He set it up on the open ground by the derelict nurse's home, the one in Nowfield Road. <laughs> what about his minders? I've got plenty of backup. And who'll be with Ford? Jamila Blake. Are you sure? She's not been back in the service that long. I know, sir, but I can't risk Greaves recognising any of us. Besides, Jamila volunteered. OK. All units from 4-8. Greaves is late. He may be checking it out. Where the hell's Greaves? Try and relax, Jerry. It's easy for you to say. You haven't got to go out there and front him. It'll be fine, Jerry. The troops are close by. Yeah? I'll remind you of that when I learn to walk without kneecaps. Four eight from McCann. Looks like them there, Sarge. All units from four eight. The target is on sight. Archers driving Simpsons in the passenger seat. Who's the tart? Well, Sandy left me, so I'm loser. Know. What? Nah, she stays with me. Have it your own way. You got the video? Yeah. Right, I'll give you the video. You cancel the debt, yeah? Give you the, yeah. Quits now, Greaves, right? Quit. Leave it, Jerry. Let's go. Nobody move till I say so. You really think it's that easy? No one has me over, Jerry. No one. Come on, son. Oh, what's they gonna do him? He's all yours. All units, go, go, go! Oh, Oi, police! Yeah. Got the police around us! You ain't got nothing on me. Ben Agnew died today. You're a murderer. 